Do you ever think you're wasting your time? Has that thought ever crossed your mind? What does it even mean to have fun? And when do you even come to that reality? This hobby that you've spent so much time doing is no longer enjoyable like it once was. Recently, I've been thinking about video games this way and if there's ever an end date. Am I even having fun or will I do this the rest of my life? Is gaming just the constant that I accepted a long time ago? I don't know for sure, but I don't think these thoughts are just my own. I think there's a consistent stream of content created for clicks to generate these negative feelings for you you and me alike. Sometimes I'll be scrolling through Twitter or Reddit and I'll see someone talking about a game that I liked or previously liked, you know, a few years ago. I start reading a few lines and slowly realize that they don't like the game at all. And after reading their comment or post, I start to ask myself, did I even enjoy that game? Was it all a lie? Was it actually good or am I just not smart enough to understand the surface level plot points? It begins this cycle of doubt where I need to actually justify my stance on it. And after thinking about this for a while, I figured out some reasons why I think that is and how I can combat this in the future before it even hits the front of my mind. I want to explain a bit further on how I deal with this issue of negativity or constant negativity. And before we get into that, we have to talk about social media. And let me start off with, I don't think gaming is the reason I have some issues with the hobby. It's actually quite the opposite. A lot of times when I'm playing a game, I just tune out the noise. I'm fully immersed in what I'm playing in the moment. And when I do take a break, I just talk to those in my immediate space. And maybe if I go online, I'm looking up like, if I missed an area, I'm not looking for content around the game that I'm actually playing. No, this happens when I'm done playing the game and I'm just mindlessly scrolling and lounging around. I notice the online discourse in the gaming community. And trust me, you can always find some positives in the haystack, but the loudest voices always seem to be the most negative and they're always at the front of the feed. Social media has this nice way of promoting content that you want to engage with. And a lot of times it can be pretty negative. And I think if I wasn't someone who was so tuned in with the community itself, I might think, why would anyone want to even start playing these games be a part of this community or have this as one of their hobbies i would kind of be immediately turned away by the way that it's portrayed on social media or on youtube or whatever it is i know that's not true a lot of people who watch my videos are just people trying to have fun trying to stay away from that kind of discourse. They're just people trying to engage with the hobby that they're passionate about. One, one example of this was like last year. I was playing Diablo 4, having a good time. I was literally having fun. Then one day after spending tons of hours in game, I look on Twitter and I'm like, oh, let me see what everyone's saying. It must be pretty positive, right? I haven't really seen anything about it, but no, everyone absolutely hated the game for some reason. And I was like, what did I miss? What do I not understand? I'm having fun. So I booted the game back up and I still didn't notice anything wrong with the game. I asked myself, what am I missing? But then it hit me. It's not that the game is bad or that I'm missing anything. It's just the unhealthy online discourse about games in general. This hyper online subset of people who quite frankly have too much time on their hands. You can you can dislike something, but you can still have some positive things to say about something. And I'm not sitting here trying to defend Diablo 4. You can dislike the game all you want. All I'm trying to say is that I had some fun playing it and I'm not even trying to defend the positive or negative comments about it. It's just one example that I wanted to bring up. And honestly, just sharing some positive aspects about the game alongside some of your negative aspects might be the best way to discuss a game in general honestly anything in general and i even notice that sometimes online discussions sneak into public discussions or when you're talking to someone in your own social group and if you have some comments that go against the grain it can get kind of interesting but it's kind of interesting in the way that it'd be the exact opposite from what you see from online discourse in person people are more likely to hear you out willing to listen to you and have a discussion about the game itself they're not going to be so hypercritical they're going to be more understanding and they might even share some things about why they like the game too and maybe there's just a little bit of what they wish they could see changed regardless how you feel about online discourse it's here to stay it's here to stay and it's going to continue to be one of the biggest way people communicate so how can you take some steps to help your own mental and enjoy the things that you enjoy i'm not a promoter of blocking people online i think seeing differing opinions is a good thing i don't think you should just follow everyone you see or have an interest in but do we really need to follow everyone on social media i i don't really think we do especially with the implementation of for you pages i think these sections can be served as like i'm okay i'm ready to see what the online discourse about x thing is and then you can go ahead and switch up to your following page and kind of leave that all behind to see the content you actually want to see on a day-to-day -day basis so stop following everybody that you see on social media and be a bit more selective with who you follow which i guess is a bit counterproductive since i'm making a youtube video right now 100 recommend staying off your favorite game subreddit at least if you want to continue having that game be your favorite game or at least just don't go on there while you're actually playing the game trust me it's 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 it can get bit pretty bad it can get pretty bad or let's say you're heading home for the day and you just want to play some video games and relax 
you sit down on the couch, turn on the TV, grab your phone, just stop right there. Don't do that. Don't open social media before playing a game or starting a movie or watching whatever video you're watching. Just stop right there. It's only going to distract you and you're probably going to run into some of that negativity that I'm talking about previously before you even start your game. And if this is something you enjoy doing, if you like playing games, play the game. No need to see what people are saying about the game. Just play the game itself. Beat the game, form your own opinion, and then maybe take a gander into social media and see what everybody's saying about it and see if your opinion matches up with the majority or if it doesn't. This will be a good barometer to see what you liked, what other people didn't like, and, and see what your tastes are like versus everybody else. At the end of the day, you don't need to listen to me or anyone else on the internet. Just do you, whatever that means. Play the things that make you happy and feel fulfilled. If you want to play FIFA or EAFC, whatever it is, just play it all day, every day, whatever it is. Who cares if people are saying they're selling you the same game every year? If that's your $70 well spent, that's your $70 well spent. The game brings you happiness and that's all that matters. As corny as that sounds. Like it really does sound corny, but it's true. Last year I bought Baldur's Gate 3 and everybody was saying it was the greatest game ever, best game of the year. I played it for about 20 hours and I could not get into it for the life of me. I just knew that game wasn't for me and I found out I didn't really like CRPGs. Maybe I should have known that going in, but I learned that on my way out and I had to try it for myself and I'm glad I did. And maybe I needed that to get to where I'm at right now about figuring out what's for me and what's not. Because this is a hobby I don't intend on quitting. It brings me joy even if I'm not playing all the latest or top releases. Maybe I'll continue playing FIFA or EAFC or 2K25, whatever its new name is, or I'll just rely on some old classics like Metal Gear Solid or Devil May Cry. I'm just gonna game at the end of the day. Anyways, let me know if this video made sense or if it's just a jumbled mess. I'm already pretty far into this video, so I'm not gonna stop, I'm just gonna push it out. Basically, the moral of this video is, stop listening to all the talking heads, just do you, enjoy what you enjoy, even if that means going against the mainstream. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Unless you're being a dick, just, just don't be a dick. Let me know if this is something you noticed on the online discourse lately, or if you have some ways that you've figured out how to manage your own social media. Anyways, y'all, I'll talk to you next time. Peace.